What's up guys, Game Zero and welcome back to Pro Slack 2021 for the final stage of the Giro Italia playthrough with DSM. If you've missed yesterday's stage at the Pass of Elia, do watch it. Genuinely, do watch it. Because today we've got a 16 km time trial, I don't expect us to do anything between Verona and Verona. But we've got a GC to bring home, so let's go. And our first rider to leave Verona is Alberto Dainese. Um, yeah, don't really care. Decent Giro ish for him. Um, I think he got a stage win. I think. Oh no, I sprinted for him, but he choked. I remember that. Uh, Kizbo follows him. Oh, I think, yeah, there's one runner in between. I don't really know what to do in the Sam trial, uh, but again, following yesterday's stage, there's not much that can happen to me. It's a shame that Nico doesn't have the greatest of days, uh, minus one for the German. Because I feel like we could have done something potentially, uh, but it's going to be probably low top 20 for now. So in P12, um, James Noakes leads right now in Verona ahead of Jascha Sutelin and Matthias Brendler. Sadly, it's another uh, disappointing day for Martin Tuzveld, really struggling at the end of this Giro. He's got 81 fitness, I think, now. Um, yeah, he, he really exploded. Um, I may have used him too much in the stages. Um, he'll be second of the mountain classification, 20 points behind John Henley. No regrets, I don't think I could have done any better with nothing. And Timon is on a great day. Timon is on a great day, but 79 time trial for the Dutch rider. Uh, maybe he have a best chance at a high finish today. So we'll see what we can do with Mr. Arendtman. Um Alright, go 84 right now. Could we do something with Timon on the final day of this Giro? I don't know. One kilometer until the summit of the uh, KOM, until the uh, intermediate time, 40 minutes, man. Doing well right now. I I'm managing the energy quite nicely. The aim was to have no red by the summit, so I think I've done quite well. It is P1 at the first intermediate. Miles ahead of Thomas de Rent. Gets in there, come on. 10 seconds clear. We've got 5 kilometers of downhill. Can Timon hold on to what could be the biggest win of his professional career? Maybe the only one, I don't know. Uh, a few corners left for Timon Arantzman. And across the line he goes. P1, 13 seconds ahead of Thomas de Rent. And Romain will finish his Giro on a good day. Um, he's had two good days at the end. That's fair. Thank you very much, Romain. Look at him. Look at how the pink jersey just suits this man. It, it was built for him. It was built for, for this glorious human being. And unless I win by, I lose, sorry, by more than 6 minutes and 45 seconds to Richard Carapaz, Romain Bardet will be winning the Giro d'Italia today. And Tom Jumelin obliterated the Tom of Timon Arendtman. No, not really, really nice from Mr. Jum, from Mr. Jumelin. Bit sad. Bit sad. Uh, yeah, Roman Bardet will not win today, so it's gonna be a one-two, at least a one for sure, and potentially a one-two for um for the Netherlands today. But let's be real. Does anyone care about the win today? I don't think so. Roman Bardet crosses the line, thirty-five seconds behind Tom Dumoulin, and wins the Giro Italia. Joao Almeida jumps to second place in the GC with Carapaz holding on to P3 for three little seconds over Julio Ciccone. Tom Dumoulin goes P5 with Yates, Calderman, Landa, Carthy and Nibali wrapping up the top 10. Top 10 that ends more than 19 minutes after Roman Bardet today. When it comes to the other classifications, Jai Henley will bring home the mountain jersey, the Azura jersey. Not exactly the same as the one he's wearing in real life. A bit more prestige than the one he's wearing in uh, real life. But still a very nice performance by Jai. It will be Roman Bardet also bringing home the Chiclamino competition where the sprinters never really did anything. Whereas the best young despite being only 51 minutes behind, Timmermansman will not win, and it is for Joao Almeida. Congratulations to Baron Victorious, who do get the uh, team classification despite having nothing. 21 stages, 4 wins, 11 podiums. Uh, it's a satisfying Giro for us. It's a satisfying Giro for us. Um, two distinctive jerseys, including the Magyarossa. Everything changed uh, with yesterday's stage. I, I did not think we could do it, if I'm being honest. I genuinely did not, but th things have happened. Things have happened. That was cool. That was, a, that was a fun race. And I hoped you guys enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed playing it. It's a great variant. It's still not out yet. Uh, I don't think it is, at least. 
but it's a fucking great variant. So, yeah. Sadly, we wrap up the duo here. Uh, tomorrow, Antarctica comes back on the channel with the final episode of the season. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this series. If you haven't, do destroy the like button for Romavarde and DSM winning the Giro d'Italia and I'll catch you very, very soon for the end of the Intermarché career mode and the start of the 2022 one. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Yeah. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here, and what comes next will never.